Alrighty folks, so today we're going to work on the important skill of annotation. And I want y'all to think about stories and writers. Um, and the way writers don't necessarily tell us what, they, what their intentions are in the book. And so it's our job to find the clues that are necessary to unlocking the hidden message of what the authors are trying to say. And how are we going to do that? We're going to use annotations. Good readers use annotations. And what annotations just are, are just... It's just a big word for taking notes, and we're going to do that right on your handout. Um, and so right now, I want to think, I want everyone to think of themselves as detectives, um, literary detectives, on their way to finding clues that will debunk the mystery of the author's message. Um, and so, Chase, can you tell me what detectives do when they stumble upon a clue? Right. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And so that's our job today as um, detectives. Um, so let's talk about what my expectations are for you. Um, when we annotate, we're going to look for um, elements such as plot, imagery, um, personification, hyperbole, anything that you find important, I want you to mark it up because it can't hurt, right? Um, I also want everyone to write down what their feelings are when they're, they feel really strongly about the passage, whether it makes you sad, it makes you scared, it makes you just, just happy in general, maybe. Just write it down because at the end of the day, everything we have to do with this. So I'm going to show you how we are going to annotate. We have an annotation key. It's going to give us a way to annotate when we're reading a book. So for instance, when I have imagery, I'm going to put a circle around it. When I, have, when I come across words that I don't know, I'm going to use a box and box, it, box the word up so that we, we come across it again, we define it, and then we know it what it is next time we see the word. So, I'm going to use an example. Can someone read to me this passage from the reading we had last night? Matt, can you do it? Thank you. But when the sick feeling goes away and I open my eyes, the red sweater still sitting there like a big red mountain. Thank you, Matt. So, when I look at this quote, I look at it and my eyes go directly to the word of life. And I immediately rec recognize immediately this is a similar comparing red sweaters to a big red bat. So what symbol am I going to use to show that this is a symbol? Yes. A uh, star. Yes, definitely. So I'm going to draw a star here. And what I also need to keep in mind is to answer the so what question. Why did the author write it this way? And why am I picking it one? And so for this, I'm going to say that it emphasizes how she's really a focus. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. So now that we have, I showed you an example. I want everyone to take their time and show their own examples um, in the story. So when you find one, I want you to share it out. Mark that text you're reading up. Mark that text you're reading up. Yay! 